before we hop into the next segment, which is with um, this famous rock star podcaster and brilliant entrepreneur and our financial designer, and I could go down a long <laughs> list. Before we start that convo, Carrie, we just want to acknowledge that we believe in being living proof around here. Mm -hmm. And the reason that we are putting our podcast out as a word from our sponsors is we do sponsor ourselves. Like in, in business, that's what you do. And we want to be living proof that you can do the same thing. Whatever you're doing, you also can do these kind of things. So it's messy, it's beautiful, and I'm so proud that we have the ability to put some living proof out there, Carrie. Me too, Kim, and I think that I just want to take a quick moment to acknowledge the team for pulling everything together with the little commercials, but I do love the fact that they're our things and we are supporting and sponsoring ourselves. And again, I just agree with you, Kim, of the living proof of how possible it is and going right back to the beginning of today's conversation about a podcast in your business, living proof. There you go. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so now I want you to change hats, Carrie. This is our weekly conversation where Carrie tells me she doesn't have a hat on. But I want her to take her um, host hat and turn it around backwards. We'll say that. Let's be let's be like that today. <laughs> oh, yeah, I could have done that. I could have popped. Yep. Anyway, yes. <laughs> so, Kim, today's finance segment is about... Well, okay, let's be real for a second. Kerry had very different wording for today's segment, <laughs> and I've been instructed otherwise because it's PG, people. It's a PG show, so therefore we are going to talk about buying things that we don't need. <laughs> so you do your own translation out there, folks, and, and hopefully you'll, you'll get it. You'll know what's going on. But yes, I do want to speak about this topic, Kim, because I think it's something that we all fall victim to. It is very easy in your business, in your finances to overspend and let things kind of get a little bit out of hand. And we don't mean for it to happen. Sometimes we may have, we spoke recently about the B word, the whole budget space, and sometimes that just slips off the radar. And other times it's because we just like to play a little bit. What's the word, Kim? We're, we're daredevils, I think, sometimes. Yeah, we like to push the boundaries, you know, and sometimes that means, well, I need this thing, I'm buying this thing, or I want this thing, I'm buying this thing. I own a business, people. It's my money. It's my choice. So I am going to press that button. And sometimes we get a little bit kind of stubborn with ourselves. And other times it it's not always a bad thing, but sometimes there can be that little bit of regret afterwards where we go, whoops, shouldn't have done that. Or, oh, okay, rein that back in. Or other times it's all good. But sometimes there's those moments where we just can't help ourselves. There's a there's an impulse, something happens, we want a new toy or tool or something, and that's what happens, Kim. So Carrie, I'm gonna make a confession and tell on both of us for a second. Oh yeah. Because we can say this to y'all because we've done this. Like that's what qualifies us. It's not that we're perfect and we can preach it y'all it's that we've done this and we want you to know you don't have to like you can literally slow your roll and and not push those buttons but carrie one of the ways that you helped me recognize where i was pushing buttons and i shouldn't have been was the things that i was getting for trial you know you get a free trial and then they'll charge your credit card I wasn't remembering that they were going to charge my credit card. And so I ended up with all of these subscriptions to all these things that I didn't use. I didn't actually even want anymore. I didn't any of that. Can you speak to that really quickly? Because I know you have a gift for everybody in, in being able to cure that ill. 
Well, Kim, and I'm going to tell on us a step further because um, simple subscriptions for both of us has gone whole next level. Like we literally now quiver over pressing those buttons to the point where we stop ourselves because we've done the work, we've gone through simple subscriptions and identified money that we were spending that we'd forgotten about, both of us, I'm as guilty as the next person. And that's where this tool came from, was me actually wanting to know, okay, I know I'm, you know, got all these bits of money going out and going out to all these different companies and I am using all of these tools, but what was the number? I couldn't answer the question, Kim. And I live in that space. I play with numbers all the time and I didn't have the answer. And I knew there were savings to be had, but I needed to go through the process, list them all out and, and catch them, you know, see what, what buttons I had pressed in the past and what was coming through my bank statement. So I created a spreadsheet because I love spreadsheets. Anyone that doesn't, I'm so sorry, but it's okay. Um, and this spreadsheet basically formed uh, something to share with everyone because I want everyone to save money in their business. And you can fill out simple subscriptions. You can list all of those recurring payments that you have in your business and you can start to make a bit of a tally. And what you discover when you pull out the bank statement is the sneaky ones that you might have forgot about, the little, the little ninjas in the night type of thing. And you can actually find huge savings in your business because you can go through the steps on simple subscriptions, cancel them and get rid of those charges out of your bank account. And it's, it's amazing. And Kim, can I tell the total? Oh, please, Carrie, please. So we are at a grand aggregate of $59,994. So for anyone out there, that has used this tool and has a $6 saving, please send me a message because that will round us up to $60,000. And that's, that's incredible. Such a, such a great number for everyone, for those that have, have gone through and people are still work in progress. Don't get me wrong. It's not an overnight journey. You can take your time. And those that are still in progress, I'm, I'm waiting, Kim. I'm sure I'm going to get a message probably in the next 24 hours of someone telling me, yes, I've saved this. I've cancelled it. I've pressed the button. And, and here you go. Well, and I want to say for the record, this is something Carrie gives away because it helped us so much. She, she gives it away. You can go to her website and get it. It's no secret. Like, it, it's there's nothing Carrie has that she knows your numbers. If you don't tell her, a lot of people have gone through it and haven't told you their numbers. Yeah. So this is only the numbers we know for sure that people have sent over to you. So that's a pretty amazing because we haven't even hit the one year mark, Carrie, for this tool being out there. I know. I know. That's so exciting. And Kim, I'm going to actually steal a phrase from our friend Donna Bender and say, it is yours free. There are no strings attached. It is completely free. You get your own copy. I don't see it. I don't get the information. It's private to you because I do believe in privacy in your finances and therefore you can just fill it out, jot down the numbers and start to save some money. So Carrie, you always help us with the digits. Like I am so happy that we always have help from you with the digits. Carrie is our financial designer. She's not joking. 